Hi guys, if your iPhone is stuck in recovery mode and cannot be restored or get back to the home page, this video is just for you. Here, I have three solutions for you guys to fix it without data loss. They cover all the iPhone models. Plus, I have two extra solutions for you to select. Deep repair your device via Rei boot or restore your device via DFU mode. You can check the timestamps in the description and jump to the part that suits you. Let's dive in. Let's try to get out of recovery mode manually first. I got solutions for all iPhone models, so you can choose to watch the part that matches your device. For iPhone 8 and later, you can simply hold the side button to exit it, or press and release the volume up button, then the volume down button, then keep pressing the side button Method. until you see the Apple logo, Exit just that mode. simple. Using Tenor Share Rei Boot in one click. On the Method other hand, three. the process is Fixed slightly iPhone different on the iPhone 7. Mode. With Rei Boot For standard For iPhone repair. 7 and 7 Plus, press and hold both the volume down and side button simultaneously. Keep holding these buttons. Release the buttons when the Apple logo appears. Then your phone will be back to normal. For iPhone 6S or earlier, press and hold both the home button and side button simultaneously until the Apple logo appears. If manually exit recovery mode can't work, consider using a one-click method. 2. Exit recovery mode using Tenorshare Rei Boot in one click. Just connect your iPhone to the computer, download and launch Rei Boot. Then click Exit Recovery Mode on the bottom left corner. After a few seconds, your phone will back in normal, fast and stable. Check out the link in the comment below. If your phone keeps stuck in recovery mode or it has another issue like boot looping or stuck in the Apple logo, it may indicate a system issue. You can also use Rei Boot to fix that. Method 3. Fix iPhone stuck in recovery mode with Rei Boot Standard Repair. Not only it can enter and exit recovery mode instantly, but Rei Boot can also resolve over 150 iOS issues. If you just use the system repair function, simply click on the green start button, choose standard repair to avoid data loss, and follow the on-screen instructions to go through the process. Although it is a paid version, it is worth a try as it could keep all your data and it is a really easy and quick fix. Plus, you can ask for a refund if it is not working. If you want a free version and don't mind losing data, you can check out the description to watch the part that suits you. Here is a note. If the storage of your iPhone is almost full, it will easily get stuck on the Apple logo or keep restarting. You should free up the memory regularly and don't disconnect your phone while updated with iTunes or Finder. If all the methods won't work for you and you don't mind losing all your data, you can use Rei Boot Deep Repair to fix it or use DFU mode to restore your phone with iTunes or find it. Method 4. Fix the iPhone stuck in recovery mode with Rei Boot Deep Repair. Just connect your iPhone to the computer. Download and launch Rei Boot. Just use the system repair here and choose the Deep Repair to fix all the problems and follow the on-screen instructions to go through the process. Your iPhone will be fixed and back to factory setting. If you want to try DFU mode, you need to sit back and relax for a while because this may be tricky and it does not always work well. Method 5 Fix iPhone stuck in recovery mode with DFU mode. DFU mode is a special mode that allows you to restore your iPhone to factory setting. For DFU mode, you will lost all the data. Download iTunes on your computer. You can click help here to update your old iTunes. Make sure you open iTunes on your computer before going to the next steps. I got the entering steps for all the models so you can choose to watch the part that matches your device. 
First, iPhone 6. Connect it to your computer. And press and hold the home button and side button at the same time. Wait for about 8 seconds. The screen will turn black. Release the side button now, but still holding the home button. Then your iPhone will show a black screen, indicating it's in the DFU mode. For iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, also connected to the computer, press and hold both the volume down and the side button together for about 8 seconds. The screen will turn black. Release the side button now, while still holding the volume down button. Then your iPhone will show a black screen, indicating it's in the DFU mode. For iPhone 8 and later, connect it to the computer. Volume up, volume down, then hold the side button for 10 seconds. When the screen goes black, press and hold the volume down button together for 5 seconds. Release the side button, but hold the volume down button for 10 seconds. Until your iPhone remains black like this, indicating it's in the DFU mode. If the Apple logo appears, the side button was held down for too long. If this gets back to recovery mode, then try the entering process again, until iTunes recognizes your iPhone in DFU mode. Continue hit OK. Select Restore iPhone and choose Restore and Update. Wait for the software extracting to be complete and then it will start restoring your phone. If iTunes prompts you with an error, you can try Re-iBoot instead. If all the methods won't work for you, it may be hardware damage due to an unintentional drop or another event. You can go to official support to fix this. Okay, I hope this video has helped you exit the recovery mode. If this helps, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any other questions, please leave a comment below and we'll create more tutorials to assist you. See you in our next video.